Okay, so we're now going to glue this bad boy together. So you might think this is glued. No, it's not glued. It's just like being put together. So let's take all the bits apart. Oh! Before we do start any gluing, we have to deal with these. So these are the holes that the bolts go through. And on the inside, we're going to put T-nuts. So T-nuts are great, so they kind of clasp into the wood. They're threaded, so you can really put some effort into screwing down the, the drive units. So like that, this is where you need your bit of wood and your hammer. So we're going to get the um, T-nuts. It's two different sizes. So you've got your M4s and your M3s. So the M4s go on the tweeter section, which is, this is the tweeter section, the small holes. So we only need four, we're only doing one. Oh, we're only doing one cabinet for this. So in there, just don't bother putting all of them in because when you bang it, they'll pop out. So on the side like that, nice and flat, and then bang. See, that's in, pretty solid. So just to illustrate, we'll put the screw in. So these are the screws we use. Like that, so it, it effectively Goes in like that. And that's, once it's tightened, that is very, very strong. Much better than just using wood glues. Sorry, wood screws. All right, so we're gonna go around and do all the others. These. What you don't want to do is have it too close to the edge, but it's pretty hard to do that. Oops. And there. Cool. And then we're gonna have the M5s and the base. The reason we're using the wood is because if you go in like that, boom, you could miss and it could dent the wood. Well, so you don't want to do that. Cool. Right. So that's all done. All nice and solid in. Like this. So, start with this flat on the table. Then just get your head around how it all goes together. So there's only kind of one way really. So that goes in like that. It's flush up there. So put that there. And then that's the side. That's the side there. the side there. So effectively the glue on this section is going to be pasted along here in this channel. You want to paint it along here as well. So you don't need a massive amount of glue. It's a thin layer is kind of spot on. Um, you're going to have a few minutes, well 10 minutes before it all kind of starts getting tacky. So what I do generally is just get all the glue stuff ready. Um, so here we go. Work quickly but neatly. You need your, you need your paintbrush, what well, I do anyway. You don't have to use a paintbrush. So, uh, like this. And now uh, I will. Great. It's not an amazing flow, is it? Right. 
It doesn't matter if you make a bit of a mess on the outside of the inside because you can always wipe it with your cloth. So you can see probably a bit too much in there, but don't worry about that. You're going to paint it around anyway. So with your paintbrush, go clearing like that. Get around the edge, doesn't really matter. Just make sure everything's covered. Not too much. If you want, if you've got a bit of excess, just have a bit of paper lying around so you can get rid of it. And, um, like there. There's quite a bit of excess, so I'll probably put a bit too much in there. Not too much. Like this. Yeah, I'll probably put a bit too much in the channels. Just go easy with that. I'm taking a lot out. Dope. Cool, that's good. Everything's got glue on it. A little bit. Don't worry about glue sleep, seeping over the edges. You can get rid of that with your, your sponge. Um, so you've got to do these bits as well, obviously now. So here I'm gonna go in and not put so much glue in there. Right. Try not to anyway. Better. Awesome. Yeah, this one. Oops. Is that out shot? <laughs> So, do the same over here. That was a bit of flow. You might want to practice a bit with your flows. <laughs> All right. You have got some tolerance, so it's not like a, when you put all these things together, it's not like a massive tight squeeze. Because obviously the glue is going to take up some area as well. Brilliant. All looks to be covered and not too thickly spread. So, pop that in. Don't bash it down yet. Let's get it all kind of lined up first, get all the bits in. Like that. to do is internally I want to put my finger and put glue on the internals as well just to give it the seal so I'm just going to go in there try and get me flow right but I'll let my finger and just run along anyway there isn't enough glue surplus on this just to get a seal all right, I'm gonna to have to go in with the glue. Uh, so. 
Imagine you grout in the bar for a moment, down the edge. Because once it's all clamped in, it will be properly like sealed. That's good. Clear there. Brilliant. And then, and there. Great. And then the up bits. bits there. Boop. Brilliant. Cool, so if you have a look inside, you can see that I've kind of lined all the edges. Yeah? See that? Obviously it's not kind of strapped in too much. I'm going to go around with the cloth quickly. There's my damp cloth, just to get rid of any excess. Excess there. And there's going to be more excess once you start clamping it on. And there, there. Right, so all that remains is the top bit. Now, this is a very important. So this bit with the cutout goes directly above the big base hole. So you can see the big base hole there. Yeah. So this slots in there. Now what we're going to do, we're going to glue up these bits with the brush. Covered. Oh, bit of excess going on there. Blip, 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 blip. The glue hardens anyway, so don't worry about it. There's big lumps everywhere. Is that all right on there? You don't need to do these top bits because the um, they're exposed. They're not going to be glued to anything. Right. So all done, Mr. Pitt. Cool. Done. I'm just going to go around and wipe up any crappy big bits that are dripping down unsightly. Not that you'll see it because it's inside. Right. So that's ready for the top bit. So again, the bit that's cut out is on the top and it goes just above the big hole for the base unit. And you just pop it in there. Should go in quite nicely, like so. Yeah, give it a bit of a wipe. There's gonna be more excess in a minute. Don't worry about that. Right, that's all great. That needs working again. So we're just going to put it on its side because I want to get the clamps on. Right, so where are the old clamps? These are the clamps. I'm going to do the bottom one first. It gives some excess. Kind of guess how much you need. That's probably about right. Take it out all the way so that when you tighten it, go. Cool. So put it over the top. Might just lie on the floor. You can raise it up in a minute. Brilliant. Get in the slack. Right, that's most of the slack down. Tighten it. Raise it up a little bit. About there in line with that. Just tighten it a little bit. Don't do the full Mahoy yet, because you've got 
you can have uneven distribution. And make sure you're doing it on a flat surface. So the other one. Some slack. Visualize the volume. Visualizing the volume. Cool. Get that all the way down the bottom. Let's twist this all the way down. So that when we tighten it up, there's plenty of movement. And then over the top. Boom. 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 We need a bit more slack. up so let's go down a similar kind of distance just like that cool we're all happy corners are on so get the same tension yeah and then just keep keep tightening it you can see the, the blodges of glue coming up from the side it means you're doing it's doing the trick it's getting tighter and tighter Yep, everything's quite flush. All right, that's pretty tight. Bing, bing, listen. You want, a, you want the same note? Nope, more tight on that one. Nope. Nope. Yeah, that'll do. Right, excellent. So forces around are all brilliant. There's glue, let's get rid of it. The only problem is you can't really get rid of the glue that's underneath the straps. You can easily sand it off if you want to. Don't get the wood too damp though. Even though it's marine ply, MDF doesn't like water. Let's turn it around. Super tight. Superb. Don't really want to see any gaps. You see here, there's, there's a bit of a gap there. Once you've glued it all together, you can then go around inside with it if you want to later. Um, brilliant. So we need something heavy because just to put weight on this. So it's all locked together. So let's find something heavy. centralize the weight that'll do that's awesome um, you could get more of these and have them all over the place just to give it the extra clamp but we've only got two it's enough I think um, so leave that overnight to dry, and then we're, we're ready for our next step. You can't see me because I'm standing behind that. Brilliant, good job. Just before I sign off, I want to say a big thank you for watching our videos. Like and subscribe, and follow us on all the social network platforms. See you later.